Jockey Jesus Salazar stood tall in the stirrups three times this Remington Park meet, solidly on both feet. Celebrating stakes wins aboard of Donovan Rosa in the SLM Big Daddy, signs of live wire in the $231,000 Oklahoma Paint and Appaloosa Futurity, and Dreamsville in the $270,000 Remington Park Derby. Doesn't seem like that big a deal unless you consider he came close to losing a leg in a severe truck accident in 2019 and very nearly lost his life. He was riding at Remington Park and was 0 for 26 for the year, so he figured he better pick up some extra work and ride the next day in Kansas City. And halfway into the drive, I uh, I don't know, I, I don't remember anything happened. I just came back to whenever the truck was rolling. The next thing he felt was unbearable as they tried to extract him from the crushed cab of the truck. They cut the seatbelt and then they tried pulling me out. And whenever they went to pulling me out, I believe I, I I remember really good, I went to feeling a lot of pain in my ankles and I said, my feet, my feet. And they just pulled me and I passed out. When he awoke a day later, he was in the hospital and doctors explained his injuries. I shattered both of my ankles, broke my knee and my valves were paralyzed. Uh, they had to reconstruct my left foot. We had 11 surgeries and it's still crooked. Uh, they also had to grind over half of my heel bone off so I don't, I don't have much of a heel bone in that foot. That's why sometimes you'll see me carrying my left, my left leg. Uh, and in the right one, I have a pin and two plates and I believe 39 screws. Well, actually less now because we had to take a plate out and some screws. The hardest thing was seeing my daughter see me in that bad up a position and seeing the look on her face. I remember I, I was on the bed and she was on one of the chairs to the right. She would look at me, she'd look over at me and she wouldn't, I see in the corner of my and then she kind of get a, a, the biggest tear in slow motion and, and she see me see her and I remember she, she cover up her face with her coloring book like that. Salazar is a fighter and it never crossed his mind that he would not ride again. Unbelievably, after extensive rehab, Salazar rode his first official race in 2020, only a year after the accident. Back to 100%, I mean, being honest, I don't think I'll ever be back to 100%. Uh, I'd like to thank God. I'd like to thank each and every individual that stuck with me in the darkest times of my life. And to let them know that each win and all of my accomplishments is, is for all of us.